Hi everyone, welcome to Cat's Creations live on Sunday night where tonight I'm going to give you guys a, um, a surprise with, we had done, I had promised to teach you how to do a barn star wreath like two or three weeks ago and then I was telling you, oh I ran out of the boards, so I have to wait for the boards to come through and then just, um, it's a matter of like trying to find all the time to put the design into place and then kind of figure things out because you, I don't know, you got to sort through your supplies, make sure that everything is where you're looking for. So boards come in and then you're like, okay, what kind of deco mesh do we want to do? Um, most of the time when people do the unique in the creek boards, they use the poly deco mesh. It's kind of a rubbery mesh. It's a lot thicker. Um, but that one thing that almost everyone who uses it will will validate and say truthfully is that it frays a lot. So it is not my favorite type of mesh to work with. So tonight I'm going to show you how you can use just the regular um, metallic deco mesh to create a flower, a patriotic flower. And then instead of doing like, there's so many different ways you can do the centerpieces, you could buy the prefabricated um, floral centerpieces. You can create your own. Um, you can do a uh, corded or braided uh, ribbon in a wide variety of different colors. You can do um, styrofoam balls cut in half and glue pom-poms on it or glue gems. There's just so many different varieties of how you can do this. But the technique is all the same. So we're going to kind of do a patriotic spin on the floral wreath and we're going to top it off or it's not really topping it off, I guess. Um, we're gonna, like, the center is going to be a seven inch wood star. So we're gonna kind of follow the patterns a little bit. We're not gonna do the stars on the blue, but we are going to incorporate a blue. Um, and then we're gonna do a red and white metallic striped deco mesh um, and we'll see how it all comes out. I've never done it before. I've made plenty of sunflowers and poinsettias and everything else. So we're just going to kind of like see where this goes. So the first thing you're going to need to have handy is you're going to need a, I want to say this is a 16 inch, but let me just verify. I think it roughly comes out to like 15 and a half, but they round it up to a 16 inch, what they call flower um, board. The reason it's called a flower board is you have the holes added all the way to the center. If you have a center that is solid, that is what they call a character board for the Unique in the Creek um, boards, the wreath making boards. Um, they also make the, just the rings, which is what I taught our private group today how to do with a patriotic um, tulip wreath. So there's a wide variety of different um, boards that you can use and it definitely makes the process just a little bit easier for wreath makers. Let me take care of the housekeeping stuff first. Cause now Steve's like looking at it. Yeah. Okay, if you like this design and you want to replicate it, once you get all your materials, you know, kind of shop around and figure out what you want to do. Maybe go to Pinterest, uh, Google a couple um, different design ideas and kind of see what you really are like attracted to as far as a designer. Um, you'll want to click the share button. The share button at the bottom of this Facebook live video will enable you to share this video to your page. That way it's easier to find the instructions when you need to. Um, on, let's see, if you like and follow this page, it will notify you whenever I go live. Sometimes we schedule them and sometimes we just do what we call pop-up videos and they're unscheduled um, times where we've come up with a last minute design and can't wait to share it with you. On YouTube, if you wanna be notified whenever we upload a new video from Facebook, you'll wanna make sure you click on the subscription bell in the upper right hand corner. Um, if you're new, welcome, first of all, but let us know where you're from. We'd like to um, hopefully find somebody here on the Facebook Live that's close to you and then you find you have a crafting um, person in your city or close by. Did I cover everything? 
Pretty much, yeah. So, hi, gals. Uh, there was a, a question which I think you can answer. Okay. Clara Golding asks, can you use a small board for this project? Uh, you can. I just don't know if the dimensions that I'm going to give you using the deco mesh tonight would work. Um, I've never gone on a smaller size board. I do have them. When I look at using a 10 inch deco mesh, to me, it seems like it's too big. So it would just have to be trial and error. Try it out um, and see what you think. You might like it. You might want to change up the mesh and maybe go with a thicker, um, like maybe a Jeep mesh that kind of um, mm -hmm. just thicker right. without going poly deco mesh. But most of what you see as far as um, the floral wreaths are all done with what they call poly deco mesh. Right. It's a um, it's a rubberized coated um, on top of a plastic mesh. Yeah. Clara, okay. maybe that's something for you to figure out is if you do use that smaller board, you might be able to get away with using a five and a half inch and that's something you could use that deco mesh for. Possibly. Yeah. Um, so let me go Try ahead and there. pull this up. And that's pretty much how we come up with most of our designs anyway. It's trial and error. Either somebody's done it before or we try it and see how well it works. Um, okay, I am back up. Um, okay, so hey, Kay from, uh, I'm Kay from Enjoy Ohio. Enjoy your videos. I've gotten great ideas from you. Thanks, Kat. Awesome. And for those of you that are joining, and we just found this out in a private group, um, one of our private group members and her husband are launching a reef supply business in the UK. For all of the people in the UK who are struggling to find resupplies, um, Karen. Yeah, yeah it's uh, her name's Karen Stewart, and I'll get you all of her information once she um, gives me her website address. And then for those of you that are in the UK, Ireland, Scotland, London, um, any of that that general area that are struggling to get res or crafting supplies. Now you don't have to fight with international shipping to get your crafting supplies from the U.S. So, good news for you guys. You guys ready to get started? Okay, so what I have done, because you always, you know, it's all in the, the planning process. So with me using the 7-inch star, this came from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for a couple of years. I just haven't integrated it into a design. Um, you're going to want to, number one, figure out which is the top of your board. So on a unique in the creek board, where you have the two holes at the top, that is gonna be your top. Cause you don't wanna just start putting all your deco mesh around. I've done this once, put all your deco mesh around. And if you're doing something that is color specific or pattern specific, like a flag type of a um, design, and then you find out that your hangers way over here, but you started with the top of the design here, then it, you're like, oh my word, what do I do? Quick fix is just drill another hole in there and then make your hanger over here. Um, but take your time in the planning process to make sure that you have everything where it needs to be. So the first thing I did is looking at my center, I kind of figured out which way I wanted my star to go, which is gonna be like this. So it's going to be face down on my board like this. And then looking at where all the zip ties are to make this design, you kind of need to make sure that your color patterns line up. So in my case, I'm making sure that like my blues go from here to here and then everything else is red and white. That way when you go to lay your star on top, everything should kind of line up. It's not gonna be perfect because we don't have things lined up on a perfect grid, but I think we'll get pretty close. Um, in order to attach the star, I did do some pre-work ahead of time, which is just add a pipe cleaner to the center because this isn't quite a quarter inch, so I can't really staple it. I don't like to use the adhesive ties because those have a tendency of coming off in the weather. So I just heated up my Gorilla Glue as hot as it could go, um, added a big dollop of Gorilla Glue to the center, laid my pipe cleaner in it, coated it on top, and then just let it dry for three or four hours. So I think this is gonna be good enough for us to go ahead and secure everything too. First thing you need to do though, 
is put your hanger on place. So I'm using an eighth inch corded, um, I guess a ribbon. I chose this from Joann's at Christmas. Um, it's kind of got a little metallic end, you know, edge, edge to it. And then I'm going to go through this way and double knot it just so it won't come out the other side. And then not only that, it gives it a really good finished look from the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and get this up through here. Make sure we have more than enough to get it zip tied or twist tied around here twice. And then this way, our knots will be under the mesh and then from the back, our cord has a nice finished look to it. And everything else will be finished too because all you will have is the back of the zip ties. So we are ready to go and we're gonna start with the outside. So we're gonna learn the pedal technique which you can replicate using burlap mesh, poly deco mesh, um, the regular um, poly burlap mesh, um, did I do it? Poly. So Carol, so Carol asked, is poly deco mesh the same as poly burlap mesh? No. No, because it doesn't have a burlap to it. It's basically like having value mesh that they kind of put a rubberized coating on. It's like a, I don't know. There's no way like to really plastic. describe it. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like a plastic rubbery feel. When you pick it up, it, it feels different. It feels much thicker. And then the spacing for the rows and columns is much wider than say it would be if you're dealing with just the regular metallic um, or deco mesh or even poly mesh. The, the whole spacing is much smaller. Um, can you grab on my, I have a roll of Christmas poly deco mesh or poly, bur, poly deco mesh. Poly um, no, it's not the burlap. On the left-hand side, on the top in the red, you'll see it, it's really thick. It's a red, white, and green. So I wanna show you what the difference is so that you'll understand. Um, you kind of need, thanks Steve. Okay, so what you'll notice, and I'll have him zoom in. This is, actually this is called poly burlap mesh. Yeah. But um, go ahead and zoom in and you'll see the spacing on these holes is, I want to say it's about a quarter inch for all the holes. I mean, the netting and the weave is really thick, but um, let me go ahead and undo this. So so it's almost like a rubberized seal too. Yeah, and you can see how big and how thick this roll is. And again, this is a 30 foot roll. It's probably twice as thick as normal um, regular metallic and see it, it just frays, continuously frays. So it's very, very thick and it's got a rubber coating to it. Um, but as you can see, it's very thick. Whereas if we were to look at our regular deco mesh, you'll see the sizing of the holes is much smaller. So when you do something like this, um, like I said, it's really difficult to prevent it from fraying. You can wood burn this and that kind of helps, but even still you're probably gonna wanna come back in and spray it with a um, E6000 adhesive spray. I'll just put it over here. There you go. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to make your pedal for this design. And because you need that thickness, um, what I've done is I've taken a piece of deco mesh. It's 10 inch deco mesh cut to 20 inch pieces because we're going to double it like what we did for the rose wreath. So the first thing you're going to do, and I forgot my um, tip clip. <laughs> Let me find it because I put it away after we finished. Okay. And we're good. Okay. 
So I use a chip clip just to keep all the sides together. So I have cut all these pieces with a wood burning tool and you want to line it up fairly even. So a chip clip will help kind of hold it all together on the corner like this. And then you can even the other side out, kind of press it flat. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go from this corner to this corner and scrunch it. So by going this way, to this side, here's our corner now. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend these so they look like right now they look like rabbit ears, hence the clip little bunny ears, you're going to bend them all the way up, just like so, and you're going to zip tie it. You don't have to, if you wanted to assemble this with half as many zip ties, you can just take this piece and slide it right into the very first one you're going to create. I found it's much easier, it makes the tutorial go by much quicker, to have them already pre-assembled and then we just basically assemble them on the board and we're ready to go. And then this is what you're going to achieve, which is a doubled up version of the pedal. Okay, do you guys have any questions? I'll make one more for you. Let's do it here. Two more real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, we're going to Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. Absolutely. Okay. Like I said, the only reason I use the chip clip is just to hold it while I get everything else centered. It makes pulling the edges where it's cut a little bit more manageable. And then the better quality deco mesh you purchase, the easier this pedal technique will be. It was a little challenging doing the blue because it wasn't as thick of a metallic blend. It was just like the regular metallic. So again, here's our petals or they look like little leaves. Mm -hmm. You're going to bend them up because you need to put a little bit of a bend in it because you need to be able to take this piece and slide it underneath your zip ties. Mm -hmm. And that'll just make the process go through so much quicker. But yeah, you could use chip clip, you could use hair tie, you could use a anything. Let me do it. I think Close I got a pin. stubborn one. Sometimes my Jackie, sometimes. the stripes, because of how you do the um, the pedal, the stripes are not going to go the same way. No, they're just going to kind of rotate around. So th yeah, they're not going to be like stars and stripe stripes. Um, you could do this. I've seen it done with a um, checkerboard type mesh that looks really pretty. You could do um, red, white, and blue mesh and just do the whole thing. You could just do solid blue, solid red, solid white, and then intermix them. So these are all set. They're ready for us to go. And then last time, so remember we're taking a 20 inch piece. It's just easier to do one 20 inch piece rather than two 10 inch pieces. Cause then I would have, I'm only dealing with one set of cut edges. Imagine if this was cut too, then I have two cut edges to work with. So this just makes that finished project so much nicer. So here. And if you guys wanted to, you guys could, you guys could just use like regular red or regular white and then just mix it. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, right. Just red, white, blue. Yeah. And then when we did the rose, remember how we used the adhesive stars? Mm -hmm. You could take it and add those to the blue if you wanted. Yep. So. Okay. So what you will need to pull off this design is you will need 14 of the navy blue, and you will need 30 pieces of the red and the white. All cut to 20 inches. All cut to 20 inches, if you're just using regular deco mesh. If you're doing the, what is it? The poly burlap mesh, the more rubberized one, mm -hmm. you can get by with 10 inch pieces. You don't have to double them. I would, I would probably say don't double them because they're thick enough 
that you don't have to double them. It would be way too thick to try to fit them all underneath. Okay. So you're going to need two rolls of the red and the white deco mesh and then one roll of the blue. Yep. And then I already have these all color coded just based, I add little R's or little B's so that I know what piece goes under which one. So super simple. We're going to just start adding these pieces, kind of like what we did when we made um, the rose wreath. We kind of had everything prefabbed. So we're going to do the same thing here. Occasionally we might get a zip tie that doesn't want to function or play nice. So we're going to start on the outside. So we have a red here. We're adding a red here. But uh, it's best to use this board for this technique. Um, you can't really do it on just a regular wire form. You could. It would just, um, you have to configure the layout a little bit different. You'll have to come in and use needlepoint canvas. Like, right. remember back in the day? Right. Before Unique and the Creek came out with the boards, we kind of did everything yep. the old fashioned way. You used to have to cut the needlepoint squares in a yep. circle and then zip tie it to the frame. Yep. Okay, so red. And all I'm doing is sliding these under. So you can pretty much set up your entire board, like make all your petals while you're watching TV and then I'll lay everything out and you're kind of good to go. Another yeah, so you have to use the burning tool if you use the poly burnout mesh. I would strongly suggest it. You don't have to, but the frays that you're going to get are just going to be almost impossible to contain. If you ask anyone who's used the poly burlap mesh, the rubberized mesh, they'll tell you it frays really bad. The edges, even if you're just so precise in making sure your edges are cut um, right in those columns, it's going to be a little challenging to do. I've got one more red. And then we're off with our blue. So all of these pieces are already done, which just makes the assembly. And I just snap that one off. <laughs> so much easier. Okay. There we go. I'm trying to get them down as tight as possible. Just makes for a nicer look. And now we're going to come with our blue, which are done the exact same way, but you can see that the blue is not as thick as this. Okay, so I'm going to make sure these are all laid the same way. Last blue for the outside edge. So there's eight pieces to the outside that you'll add. Yeah, so the boards are about five or six dollars each now. They used to be eleven or twelve dollars each. Yeah. So that price has really come down. Actually, I'm gonna redo this one. As you can tell, they're all like laying a certain angle, except for the one I just added. I'm going to redo this one so they're all kind of laying in the same direction, which means bring them in this way. Then they all go the same, the same way. They're all leaning. Okay. I think they should make colored zip ties. Right? Yeah. I'm sure someone will. There's a brilliant idea for somebody. Okay, then on the, this was the outer row, so it's the very outside the new Unique in the Creek boards now have more holes than you need. There's 12 to the outside option. You can use them or not. I'm choosing not to in this design just because we're going to come back in. And on this level, there are 16 zip ties. So the, again, they're all color coordinated to match. 
So I'm just kind of taking my zip tie part where I have it zip tied and bringing that under the zip tie part. Okay. Back to red. It's just hard getting zip ties started sometimes. Okay. This design should go together pretty quickly. Linda, yeah, the materialist will be available for the private group. And we're to blue. That kind of neat thing that Kat did is um, based upon the design of the Barn Star. She just took a little sharpie and, and wrote where all the, my colors where all her colors me. were uh, along the holes. So she kind of knew. Took a little ways to figure it out, but yeah, you kind of have to position your star a specific way so that it lays the way the finished petals should be. And a couple more blues. Nicole, nope, we don't sell the mesh. You can get it from Craft Outlet, The Reed Shop, Deco Exchange, Trendy Tree. There's a lot of websites you can get it from. There's that. Two, two more blue. Because you kind of have to just plan your blue where you have available holes cut in the board. Last blue. And then we're back to the red and the white through the second layer of holes. Back to our red. Uh, Jonathan, I said I'm late, but how did the little petals get made? Uh, the best thing to do is because they're already a pre-selected number and Kat's already made them all now. She showed uh, how to do like the first three. So once the video is over, you guys go back um, and just watch it from the replay. Yeah, because the petal process is actually super simple. Yeah. Um, and we just kind of fabricated this design because I didn't want to use the poly burlap. I wanted to use the regular... Right. What's it called? It's still the typical petal design. Oh yeah. This is exactly what you need for sunflower. Um, mm -hmm. There's a couple people in my group who have said, please show us how to make you know, this particular design, which is exactly like this, but they did it with um, poly burlap mesh, and they did it with, this was all blue, then they would alternate red, white, red, white, all the way around. Right. Instead of using a combo of red and white. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. yeah. And then you can just change out your centerpiece however way you want it. Okay. Pinterest is a great resource, right? Pinterest is a great resource for finding things that you want to make, but you want to see what it looks like before you don't go ahead and carve into right. your own materials. Or if it's even been made yet. Yes. Okay. Okay, one more piece and then we go to our inside, the next row in. You have to build it from the outside in, otherwise it's gonna be hard to lay the next piece. So it's gonna kind of create like a little bit of a domed effect. It's gonna give some dimension to your board. Okay, now we're going to the inside and it's gonna be eight on the next. Same thing. I just have them color coordinated to kind of like line up And to red. And see, they're almost lining up completely 
like opposite. Claire asks, where did you get the star for the center? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But there are other places also that has stars like that. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think of Similar. where. Where, where, where. I haven't seen any of the other places starting to come out with their patriotic stuff just yet. Um, I think Amazon sells them. So you'd need a seven inch metal star, because that's what we're using here. Wood. Yeah, but you can go with a metal. You could, yeah. Most barn stars were metal. Okay. Another blue. If you want, you'll be able to like readjust your petal placement later so that you can get them to lay whichever way you want. I want the blue on top of the red because there's very little blue. Yeah, I just went to Google really quickly, and you could just uh, Google uh, patriotic or primitive barn stars, and there's a couple different websites that look like you can get them from. I'm sure there's a ton. And that's what I'll do if I'm looking for something, and I'll be like, oh, that's pretty. Where'd they get the barn star? Then you just Google metal barn star, wood barn star. So we finished the eight. So now we're going in to the one from the center. Let's just call it that. I guess in this case, it'd be row one, two, three. We're on row four. So there's only eight here. Uh, Chris, that little red-handed tool is actually called a side cutter and it's specially made for cutting zip ties. It gets it right to the edge yep. of your zip tie so you don't get the little sharp edges. And you can find those at Lowe's or Home Depot, pretty much anywhere. Amazon. Amazon, yep. I think that's where I got mine was Amazon. Yeah, they're just diagonal wire cutters, right? Yep. Mary said, oh, thank you, Kat. I'm oh, to get the patriotic bungee fabric. Bought some yesterday. Awesome. awesome. I'm super excited. I think a lot of people who made the patriotic bunting, um, if they've already completed the race, they've already sold them. That's how quick those mm -hmm. they sell. Okay, so now we're going back to blue. There's no way I could have put 44 pieces. Imagine if I had to sit here and make all 44 petals. Yeah, it would have taken two hours for this video. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, we'll just pre-do all the pieces and then we can just put them all together. What I really love about these videos, is it looks like there's a couple gals who are trying to connect because they live Close. maybe within about an hour, an hour and a half of each other. So that's mm -hmm. always great to see. I like it when we yeah. find people that are close to where we live. Yeah. Right? Yep. Tara and Jane. Um, let's see. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I was right. Because there's one I had to change the letter, and I wasn't sure, is that an R or is that a B? R for red. Welcome, Joyce. I said my first time with you from Titusville, Florida. I know exactly where that's at. You do? Yeah. Where is that? Titusville, Florida is about, if I'm right, is about only... Half hour, 45 minutes south of Daytona. Oh, okay. Okay. Between Cocoa Beach and uh, Daytona. Two more pieces on this level. Starts to get a little tight on the inside. Okay. 
last piece in here. You can see how tight everything is getting. Space becomes a premium in the center. And then the center is just four pieces. So we're going to finish our red and whites. Which is uh, correct, Central Florida coastline, home of the Space Center, yes. Oh, so I've, had, I've had to stay there one night, one or two nights during a, the old, in the past, during in the, the past. races, yeah. When all the hotels were booked. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to add our blue, our last two blue. Next one. Gene, the little clippers are just called zip tie cutters. They're actually on an angle. Pulling these back in alignment. Last one. And gals, just really quickly, I pinned the name of where you get the board at the bottom for a little while. Okay. So, you can decree. so there is our design. So we're back up at the top again. So here now is where we're going to be taking our barn star. Mm -hmm. I kind of have to look at it this way. So I have to figure these out. And this is how it's going to go. So I'm actually going to be attaching this. There are two centers right, or two holes right in the center, and that's where my pipe cleaner is going to go. I just have to move some of my mesh around so I can get to those last two holes. And then this. Snag everything to the board, just like so. How simple was that? Go ahead, get this all twisted, and then I can tuck it back through the hole. So all I did from the back is I had my, you have your pipe cleaners, twist it, cut it once it gets to about this high, and then push it back through the hole again, mm -hmm. and you're all set. I guess if the guys wanted to, they could use those foam white stars and they could put stars on the blue portion. Yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you could do that. If you wanted to add more stars over here to the field, you definitely could do that. I'm just moving some of my my blue mesh around so it's more blue where I want it to be blue. But there you have it. This short, sweet, and simple. I'll show you some of the other. Like um, you could come in and add a heart. This metal heart came from where did it come from? Hobby Lobby. Awesome, Hobby Lobby. And um, this came from Factory Dark Craft. So it's just a little bit smaller. For me, it was a little too small for this design, yeah. but what you're looking for is about a seven inch or higher. I think this, okay. yeah, it's like almost, that's like five and a half, so they would call it six inches, but what do you think? How super simple, right? Yeah. Let's put it up on the door so you can see what it looks like. Super simple. Move my other blue around. Make sure all my blues line up with blue. Got my hanger right here. Here's the back. 
So the back looks just as clean as it should be, I guess, for a, an outdoor read. Mm -hmm. Star lines up a little bit more. <laughs> it's still doing the swivel. It's yeah, like every time good. I move the star, it swivels more to the side. That looks good though. That's pretty straight right there. So let's get this underneath. There we go. Okay. So there you go. There is your bar star slash um, floral yeah. kind of wreath. Yep. So, Arena, this should fit between a storm door. This is pretty thin. Yes, definitely. I'm like... Maybe three and a half inches? Three and a half, four inches. And it's like, the four inches would be right here. But, I mean, in a storm door, you can compress it quite a bit. But um, that's it. So you will need, <laughs> depending upon how you're going to do your pedal layouts, like I said, you can do, um, you'll need two rolls of the red and white, or you'll just need one roll of red, one roll of white, one yeah. full roll of the, of the blue. I'm trying to keep this red and white one down here so it stays in its perimeter and it still wants to readjust. Um, zip ties a 16 inch flower board, and that's it. And then you can change out the center. You could do a styrofoam ball here. You can wrap braided cord around it. You can slice the circle ball in half and glue um, red, white, and blue pom-poms on there. Mm -hmm. um, jeweled little glass beads, whatever you want. Yeah. Jackie, if you if you think it needs a bigger center, then it's it's creator's choice, right? So if you think it needs a bigger center, buy a bigger barn star and you could and put it on there. We have looked think, at I mean we have some bigger ones, but like go Grab the one that, like, I think Steve had a 12 inch and it was just like crazy big. And then, um, if you go with like way bigger, then it starts to eat into, you know, why you created the four center ones. It almost like eats all that space. So, yeah, yeah, yeah let me yeah. see that one. I don't know. I don't know. What? You're thinking this? You could go bigger. If you wanted. Yeah, that definitely works. But look, at this point, this is your four. Right. So here's your four interior. I mean, you could go bigger if you but wanted to go bigger. Because that star is a little bit darker in the red, it doesn't really match the red and white stripe. Yeah, so this has to then become have to be burgundy. A burgundy. Right. Right. This is a little bit more the Americana because Americana is more of the darker muted tones, like the navy and burgundy and this is more red so it leans to that traditional right. um, barn star but yeah you can go bigger if you'd like yeah. it's just whatever designer's choice you want to do all the matches from craft outlet either the blue or the red and white stripe <laughs> see people are going it's too big so yeah it's just entirely up to you when you've done a sunflower wreath they're um seven inch centers if you're doing the styrofoam ball, it's a six inch ball cut in half. So the center needs to be small enough to where the petals actually make sense when you put them on, but it's entirely up to you. That's a great thing about making it yourself. You can choose what the size and the color, whatever you want to do. Exactly. Yep. Okay, everyone. Well, that's all I have for you tonight. This was a short, simple design. Having the prep work already done in advance, just makes it so much simpler for you guys to um, put together. Like I said, make all your petals and then um, wire or zip tie up your board and then sit down and zip tie like I just did. Snip them all off and then you're good to go. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Well, I will see you all next week, Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 Central and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Talk to you soon.
拜。